Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video from my basement, from the man cave. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys my DC Universe Classics collection. Awesome, lots of fun. So, here we have, you can go to your uh, left there. Yep, here we have the DC Universe collection. It's pretty sweet. So here we've got to, to start kind of our Justice League section there. you got the Hall of Justice in the back. That's cool. And um, just all kinds of all kinds of awesome figures. So let's uh, let's take a look at the front here first. We got um, Batman at the front, of course. Uh, Golden Age Batman. He reminds me of Batman Brave and the Bold. I love that show. This one is a custom uh, Christopher Reeve Superman that I custom painted and, and put a head on. So he's pretty nice. So he looks like... Uh, you know, a Christopher Reeve, uh, that's kind of the way I, I picture Superman in my mind. Um, so that one's really, really cool. I like that one a lot. Um, over here we got some flashes. We got uh, Wally West, and um, we've got uh, Animal Man, we've got Wildcat, we've got uh, the Robin, Wonder Woman, we've got uh, Rocket Red, he's fairly new. We just got him um, a couple weeks ago, he's pretty cool. Um, Plastic Man, a lot of fun Plastic Man. Uh, up here, Buona, Be Buona Beast, <laughs> really cool. Um, and I used a, a griffin, which is a combination of, of course, like a, a boar and, a, and an eagle type deal. So that's fun. Because uh, he can, his power is he can combine two, uh, two animals together and combine them. And here we got Firestar. It's pretty sweet. He's got the fire coming off the back and everything. That's pretty nice on a flight stand. Red Tornado. Dr. Fate. It's freaking sweet. And we've got a few Green Lantern here. I have more, but there's only so many I can fit on the table and still keep it looking fairly clean. So Kilowog's still one of my favorite figures that they ever made, for sure. Really nice. Got Metron with his chair. Um, we've got, uh, these are new, is the uh, the Metal Men um, right here. So we've got Gold at the front. He's pretty rare. Uh, Mercury, Platinum, Tin, um, uh, Iron, and Lead. Lead's pretty cool, too. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. Oh, did we miss the Wonder Twins? Oh, we just got them the other, like about uh, two months ago. Wonder Twins right there. Back. Very, very cool. All right, let's go to the uh, to the right. We got some Superman stuff here in the back. We got a Kingdom Come Superman, Eradicator, just a whole bunch of different Superman figures. Now we get into some of the villains. We got Dark Side there, as you can see. Um, yep, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Desaad. Mantis, uh, some of the other ones here, Crime Syndicate is mixed in there in the back. Um, uh, Mirror Master, he's fun, he's cool. Professor Zoom there, Reverse Flash. Uh, we got the Doomsday, that one is uh, really, really nice. Actually, I actually have two of that one because I kept one in package. Uh, he's probably the best figure they ever made. Right here is the Doomsday, I mean, even the Superman cape and everything, the size of him, everything, he's just uh, absolutely incredible. I, yeah, I'd say he's probably the best figure they ever made, I think, to be honest. Which is fitting, because he's like the final figure in the line. Now they're doing a multiverse, which is... They just keep stuff going forever, <laughs> as long as people will buy it. Uh, up here we got some Batman stuff. So we got a Gotham City sign, which is pretty cool. We got a custom Batman with a, with a cloth cape, which is cool. Um, another Batman that reminds me kind of of the Justice League Batman, because he's got the cowl over the shoulders like that. Up here we got some more. We got some more Batman. Uh, this one's a custom, pretty nice. You got a custom head on kind of the Arkham body, which looks like, like a more modern Batman. Yeah, good to look at that one. That was real nice. And then the classic Detective Batman from earlier on in the sets. Uh, I think it was Wave 1. Yeah, Wave 1. Uh, over there we've got the uh, Dark Knight Batman. Um, I think it's Minicon or Mafex 1 or 2. I forget. Shadow Batman in the back. Up there we've got the 89 Batman and the Superpowers Batman. Very cool. Okay, let's go down to your right. And we'll show another one of the part of the Batman collection. Really, really nice. That's the Superheroes Batman. He is uh, pretty rare nowadays, released a long time ago. Probably still the best Batman figure ever made, I think. He's a little short for DC Universe, but I still think he's probably the best ever. Batgirl, we got all the Robins, pretty much, yeah, all of them. Uh, we even got in the back, you'll have to go up a bit, yeah. Um, Terry McGinnis, all that, Red Robin. We got a custom Red Hood, freaking wicked, because they never really made one that was really that good for DC Universe. Really cool, like under the Red Hood uh, cartoon. Okay, take a step back and let's do uh, some of the villains down here. We've got uh, Joker. This is another custom. Um, this is called the Ultimate Joker. Uh, what it is, it's the DC Universe Joker with the head of the Killing Joke. And it creates, I would say, like my ideal Joker where you have kind of like that 90s um, 
you know, uh, style Joker. Really, really cool looking. It just suits him really well and um, uh, kind of a more modern look for Joker. Got the Legion of Doom here. Freaking sweet. Legion of Doom, love it. Um, reminds me of kind of the uh, cartoon network, some of the parodies and stuff they did for Legion of Doom. Gigants, all that. It's fun. This one here is cool. Take a look at that one. Uh, Killer Moth right there. Yeah. Freaking sweet, right? He's just so ridiculous looking with the pants and everything. It's awesome. Uh, go to the right here. We got Lobo over here. One to your right. Yeah, right there. Gorilla Grodd in front of him. Um, Brainiac, really nice one. Uh, the Death uh, Deathstroke, really nice. DC's version of uh, Deadpool, pretty much. Um, then we have, well, he was, Deathstroke was made first. But, um, yeah, some yellow lanterns here, which is pretty cool. And we have some different lanterns here. We have, I have more, like there's Necron over there, right over there, yeah. There's Necron and some of the red lanterns in the back. Um, I have more of them, but I don't have enough space to, you know, fit them all on, on the table at once. So some of them are in bins and stuff, which I always hate doing, but, you know, you kind of have to sometimes. So over here we got a Batman section. Yeah, look to you right here. Um, it's kind of like a Batman. Yeah, pretty cool. So we got kind of like the Dark Knight Returns face-off, Superman and Batman, especially since the movie came out. It makes a lot of sense. So we got Bazzaro. We got a Justice League custom Joker again with the Killing Head, um, uh, but with the Justice League colors, which was the green and the purple. So I made that one. That was cool. And then we got Riddler in the back. We got a um, Joker there with kind of the hat, which is really cool, which is like an animated series version. That was before they started making the animated series versions, which is pretty cool. Two-Face and all that. And uh, another building that I never quite finished. I still intend to do it at some point. Power Girl up there. That's um, that's a DC uh, collectibles version, not like a DC direct version. And then all the Batman villains down here at the bottom. Yep, take a look down there. Uh, Camo and all that. The Bane, Joker at the front. And uh, yeah, freaking sweet, man. Freaking sweet. Had a bunch of other Superman too. We got uh, a custom Sinestro here. This one's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Got uh, gold Superman. He was He was pretty neat. Um, kind of like a superpower Superman, which he's kind of uh, a little disappointing, but what can you do? We've got a regular DC Universe Superman, and then we've got the uh, the '80s one that has no head right now. So I gotta put his head back on. I was gonna custom, I use it for a custom, but sometimes customs don't always work out. There's a few other things over here we can take a look at from DC. Just a few things, like some DC Direct figures and that, some customs turtles stuff in the back here. And then over here at the right, we've got some DC stuff, some Hot Toys DC stuff. Just a few though, not too much. Yeah, there's Turtles display there, it's pretty cool. So, and then over here, the last part of DC really is the, uh, we've got um, Batman Begins Hot Toys right there. We've got uh, to your left, um, kind of like a DC director, DC collectibles, um, uh, Justice League set up with uh, Darkseid at the top. Just some random figures around, some stuff that I'm kind of setting up eventually. And um, yeah, take a look at the Hot Toys, uh, uh, Dark Knight Jokers, those are cool. And then the uh, the Jack Joker, freaking unbelievable. When I saw that guy, I just, I didn't care what the prices, I had to have him, just amazing. And then the 89 Batman, so pretty cool. Yeah man, and, and that's it. So that's pretty much all the DC stuff I have that's on display right now. And uh, if you guys like the video, uh, as usual, don't forget to thumb it up below. You can also share and favorite. And if you're new, bottom left to subscribe. Uh, if you guys like this video, I can do another one for the Marvel stuff. Got quite a bit of Marvel stuff as well, too. Did one for the Walking Dead stuff already, so don't need to redo that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the collection. Some fun stuff for DC fans or Batman fans. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you again soon for another. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace.